Hi, I'm Mike Lee, and this is the Team Tech Tour, where we take you on a guided tour of one of our latest products for a closer look than what you might get from a 60 second ad or the page of a magazine. In this Team Tech Tour, we're going to show you possibly the most robust and feature packed 6 channel radio ever produced in the RC world, the Spectrum DX6. The DX6 derives its software programming from the elite DX9 and DX18 systems that serve the competition pilots as well as those that demand powerful radio performance with efficiency and reliability. The DX6 has plenty of model memory when storing model setups. Up to 250 model flight setups can be stored in the transmitter, plus more if you're using the SD card, and if you need more, just swap out the card for another one. That's just the start. I mentioned that the software programming is robust and feature packed, so let me take a minute to list some of the features of the program that is standard equipment on the DX6. We start with having three distinct flight model types, acro, helicopter, and sailplane. In the acro type model, you can have up to three flight modes, channel reassignment from the transmitter or at the receiver, variable trim set up both common and within the flight modes, voice alerts and warnings, telemetry options, a pre-flight checklist option, throttle cut, wireless trainer capability, aileron differential, throttle curve, multi-point mixing, custom voice setup, and more. In the heli type, you have the option of selecting the squash plate type from a choice of pre-programmed setups, spoken flight modes, voice alerts and warnings, channel assignment from the transmitter and at the receiver, a pre-flight checklist option, throttle cut function, telemetry, pitch and throttle curves, gyro adjustment, multi-point mixing, and more. And then we have the sailplane type menu, which for six channel radios is a real breakthrough. You'll have up to five flight modes to work with, plus trim adjustments, both common and within the flight mode. Aileron differential, pre-programmed mixes, plus available multi-point mixes, voice alerts and warnings, pre-flight checklist, multi-timer options, channel reassignment from both the transmitter and receiver, telemetry readout, and more. The DX6 is likely one of the very few six-channel radios available to handle the needs of a full-house competition sailplane and at a very modest price. Now it's time to take the tour. Starting with the front face, the DX6 has a subdued image with a down-to-business style and look. It is functional and efficient with a size that is comfortable for most pilots while being light enough not to feel the need for neck strap. The flight control trim buttons are electronic, being active only when power is applied. This prevents trim changes from occurring when not in flight. The control sticks are adjustable in length, as is the spring tension, adjustable from the rear of the case. For smooth and precise controls, the gimbals are ball bearing mounted. You can configure the control sticks to utilize modes 1, 2, 3, and mode 4 types by using the channel reassignment options and changing the spring tensioners inside the casing. Ergonomically, the DX6 allows a firm grip on the transmitter with a custom curve to the sides along with rubber grips at the rear for a non-slip surface. All the auxiliary switches are ergonomically spaced to allow for easy access and space to activate them when needed. At the bottom of the case is the easily readable LCD display for showing the current status and programming. The programming is made simple by using the scrolling roll and push to click switch in combination with the clear and the back buttons. Audio cues and voice alerts are emitted through a small speaker located at the top of the face. Volume control is accomplished through using the LCD display and the scroll switch. Throughout the middle of the case is a Spectrum logo which lights up when the transmitter is on or when charging. We now move to the upper portion of the case. Along the top left quadrant is control switch C which is traditionally the elevator dual rate switch. Next to it is switch D, a three position switch that can be used to change flight modes or deploy flaps. On the top shoulder of the case we have switch A to the rear, traditionally used to deploy retractable landing gear, and in front of the switch is a three position switch B. All switches are assignable through the software of the DX6. Going closer to the antenna base we find switch I, which is used for binding, or the buddy box trainer mode. Moving to the upper right quadrant, the front face has switch F, a two position switch commonly used for the aileron dual rates. Along the top right shoulder, we find switch G, a three position switch that can be used for flight modes, throttle cut, idle up, or any assigned function you select through the software. To the rear of the top is switch H, a two position switch used possibly for the launch mode of a sailplane, bomb drop on a scale plane, air brakes on a jet, or any other assignable task you wish. 
Along the sides, the casing is ergonomically designed to fit the hands of the pilot comfortably. Rubber grips are placed along both sides of the transmitter case and go to the back edges of the case for a secure grip at all times. Along the top, the DX6 now sports a fixed antenna tower. No more worrying about having floppy antenna syndrome anymore. To customize the feel of your DX6, the spring tension for the sticks is adjustable through the access points located at the rear panel. In the center of the case is a plug port to utilize a headphone for private listening to voice alerts, notifications, and timer announcements. Next to the headphone jack is a plug port for physically connecting two spectrum radios together for buddy box operations. However, you may not need this as the DX6 has a wireless buddy box system that eliminates the buddy box cord. At the lower portion of the case is the battery box. Your DX6 comes ready to go to work right from the hobby shop as it comes with dry cell AA batteries. You may also choose to install an optional lithium rechargeable battery kit that includes the charging jack and charger at a later date. The DX6 does come ready for action out of the box and that means you can also select a Spectrum AR610 receiver equipped DX6 system from your local hobby shop. This is a full range 6 channel receiver using the efficient and reliable DSMX radio transmission system. Compact and lightweight, the AR610 is an easy fit into most any aircraft. There are still more features packed into this radio for your safety and convenience. These include throttle setting warnings, low transmitter voltage warnings, idle transmitter warnings, pre-flight checklist, and more. This is one feature packed six channel radio system. You'll be hard pressed to find another six channel radio on the market with these great features at a spectrum price. That's my take on the Spectrum DX6, and I'm sure there will be a lot of these radios in the field in a very short time. I hope that you've enjoyed our tech tour of the DX6 from Spectrum. Be sure to visit us often for more tech tours and team tech tips. For Team Horizon, I'm Mike Lee, and that was a team tech tour for you. Thanks for touring with us.